Hey y'all, it's Carly. Welcome back to another video and happy almost 2022. Uh, it is currently December 26th, so the day after Christmas, when I'm filming this video and I'm so excited to be filming my planner lineup for the year of 2022. I cannot believe it. I hope y'all had the best Christmas or um, just happy holidays, whichever holiday you celebrate. So today I am going to be showing y'all my lineup with six planners, some that I've already been using this year and some that I'm adding that are new. Um, and some that I have never been able to keep up with, but I'm trying again for another year to try it out. I don't know. So anyway, before we get started, I do have, I'm recovering from a cold. So my voice might sound a little bit different. I'm very congested, um, but I have a water with me right here. Um, so I'll be taking six sips in between all these different planners, but let's go ahead and get started. The first one I want to show you guys is um so i'm repeating a few of these planners or continuing with those so i'll put those on the side we'll do our new planners first i'm thrilled so these are the four new planners i'll be using in 2022 this is going to be my catch-all planner which i do not remember the names of these planners i know i have like um a, a uh what is this called this is a spoonful of faith and this one's a marabou marabou designs but I don't remember the names of these two, so I'll leave them down below if they're still in stock. I think I got this one from Michael's or Joann's for major sale online. So that's actually, I ordered, I think like two out of all of these from happyplanner.com, but the other places I got them from like craft store online. So sometimes other options are just as good as Happy Planner. So just wanted to say that, but this is going to be my catch-all planner for 2022. It is so simple and these colors are so me. So for my catch-all, I always do a vertical layout. I switch up though each year or every six months if I'm doing like a seasonal planner or a kind of a blush tone neutral planner, depending on the releases. There wasn't a seasonal vertical that I liked this year there weren't really any there's only one that was floral but I don't love florals so I went with a blush toned planner for this year and I want to try to do this planner for all 12 months before I was on happy planner squad I used to do 12 months and have that whole planner I did not change my planners up in July but then once I got on the squad and received lots of product I changed um, last year and then I'm also changing again this year because I I like did some Franken planning of my other planner and I was just wanting a planner that was all the same. I didn't have to tape anything and all that. So this is the planner. It is absolutely stunning. Again, it's a vertical layout. I have always used a vertical layout for my catch-all. It's stunning. I love how neutral the pages are. I already wrote out some things I'm going to be using this planner for so I'll explain that right now so over here I'm gonna have a monthly theme that matches with the monthly view um this is the monthly view and so whatever I decorate this I'll also have this um and then it's I put add photos at the end of the month so I might do some memory keeping here and then yeah so it says goals right here so it's literally I'm just going to use these boxes for exactly what they say priorities goals and um, important dates so that's exactly how I'm going to be using this I love the dividers they're so simple and the weeklies are so perfect too which I actually I know some people don't prefer the different like dot grid and lined but I love that about this planner um I I really like it so this is what it looks like it's just very neutral I'm obviously going to change the discs. I actually might even combine all my different classic planners to be on one planner. So kind of Franken planning all that. I'll show you guys that in my setup video, but this one is just so stunning and it's so me. And I think just this simple look is perfect. So here's a little flip of it. I think I will be using this cover as my main cover too. If I end up combining all my planners into one disc set of discs that's this is the cover probably with some rose gold discs that are metal that'll be perfect so anyway there's a little flip of my catch-all I'm so excited um so yeah that's planner number one my catch-all planner next up will be my social media planner I there were actually so many good dashboard layout options this year um lots that I liked but this one was one of the ones that I loved at the beginning of last year or this year um when it came out I ordered it right away I loved it so much and it says bloom with grace which um I probably will talk about this more later but my word of 2022 is grace 
and um so i just love that this cover says grace on it and it's just really great so so this is the planner i think i'm going to be ending up putting um this with my catch-all in the same planner but um this is a spoonful of faith i love her i love her instagram her illustrations really 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 good stuff and great quotes and designs so this is going to be my social media planner i don't know if i've said that yet um so i have kind of not been very good at keeping up with social media planning uh the second half of the year once i stopped squad in the summer i kind of just took a break of putting that pressure on myself to post every day to have a schedule but I realized that I love that about social media, that you can schedule things. And if I don't plan things, then I don't post. So I'm excited to get back into social media planning for 2022. So this is my currently page or my kind of dashboard page, whatever you like to call it. Um, I'm just going to be putting ideas and brain dumps and then my social media priorities, dates and goals. So that's I'm just going to be using this uh, as it is. So. I only use this currently page in my catch-all and my social media and my other planners, I probably won't use it. So in this monthly, I'm going to be writing down my YouTube videos, which I have seen a lot of people do this and I really like how that works. I like to highlight when I've done it and all that. Let me pull something out really fast. So for Christmas yesterday, I received this um, 2022 wall calendar by the Happy Planner and it is stunning and it's a monthly calendar and it has the monthly view and I think I'm going to hang this up on the wall over there in my office right here um, and write down my YouTube videos and my social media things that match this planner. So every time I come into my office, I can look at the wall and see what I have scheduled to post for the month ahead so it'll be matching with this wall calendar everything i put in this monthly if that makes sense so over here will probably be other ideas and you know i might be writing in pencil because i have a hard time sticking to a schedule of videos because you never know what's happening um through your month but anyway okay and so then the dashboard i have hard had i love decorating the dashboard layout but it's been a hard time i've had a hard time keeping up with all these different things um, because the dashboard just has so many sections. But I noticed that a lot of the times I would use this side of the page and not so much this side, but I'm going to be simplifying my layout for social media. So I'll still be writing my weekly uh, YouTube videos, the same ones that I'll be writing in my monthly, but just like the two or one that I'll have. Um, and my daily posts will go over here. And I love, love, love that this box is neutral. So, so thankful for that. Thank you, Happy Planner, for making that. Um, but on this side, this is what I've always had a hard time uh, using well, uh, functionally. So I always use this bottom for stats and growth. Um, so I'm going to be keeping that. I love writing down um, my growth during the week. Um, I don't do this all the time and sometimes I forget and again growth and stats and numbers don't really matter to me but it's just helpful if there are certain things I can be doing to help myself grow um, and yeah but I'm definitely giving myself grace this year as I've already said with growth and all that because I mean Instagram is changing daily and you just never know and it's yeah Instagram is in charge of our jobs sometimes so you have no idea how it's going to go. But anyway, that's kind of just a flexible stats and growth section. Right here, I just have a decor or quote. So just like a decorative box that I can decorate with stickers. Maybe add an inspirational quote for the week. Nothing like functional because I really don't need that box. Right here, I really want to start uploading more reels onto my Instagram because that is what Instagram is all about these days. And I'm so old school, even though I'm 17, I can't get myself to make videos as much as I do posts because I love the post side of Instagram. But um, I'm going to challenge myself to post one reel a week. So this is going to have just a box and I'm going to write what that reel is and then I'm going to try to upload that every week. So not several. And uh, again, I'm going to be flexible with myself, but a weekly reel, that will be what that box is for. And then up here, um, each week, week I like to spend one day just doing getting shots doing a shoot of all my weekly posts for the week ahead so I think I'm gonna have a shot list here and then this says get it done so it's just gonna be my like checklist like if I need to respond to comments or I don't know do something like that that's gonna be what that list is for so simplified but pretty much the same as last year so again I'll just do a quick flip this is kind of the vibe of the planner I love that the insides are chill but the dividers are fun um 
And again, this planner is um, very much about positivity and dreaming and growing, which is perfect for Instagram. So that is my social media planner for 2022. All right, my third planner for 2022 is a faith planner that will also be going in my classic um, planner that has all the other planners. Um, okay, faith planning is really hard for me. I love studying my Bible. I do Bible study almost every day, but for some reason, like I every year I just don't stick with it, which is my own fault, but I'm just going to keep pushing myself, keep trying to keep that up, and I think... Um, I think this is a good year just because 2022 I'm graduating from high school, I'm traveling a lot, and I'm going to college, so I think I just need something um, to kind of have a base for my faith. So I really want to keep, and I love this planner too, so I really want to try to make faith planning or faith journaling a priority. And if it's in a planner with my other planners, then I think I'll just be reminded to use it more. So this is my faith planner. It is gorgeous. I love it so much. I love the photographs in this planner. It's so, so good. So um, what I love about this is that this is actually a faith-based um, currently page. It says use page as it is because I love just the different sections. But again, this is not like required. I'm not really going to try very hard on this. If it's just pen some months or if I never get to it, it's not a big deal, but I like how this is laid out. And then the monthly I have down as memory keeping because I love the planners. I think Create with Mandy does this and a few other people where they write one thing that they did each day or they like write down in their notes every day and then they go back and memory keep, um, which I know doesn't have to do with faith, but I just like, I wanted one monthly section to be memory keeping. So again, this is also going to be flexible, but this is just a fun idea. I've always wanted to do this. So we're gonna try to do that this year. And then this is the layout. What I love about this is it's the same as the normal faith, but it's all gray, which I can just cover up with washi tape and it's totally great to go and I can decorate it however, however I want. But also I love that if I don't decorate it, I can just highlight stuff and it's still pretty with gray. So that's kind of my vibe. I'm not gonna decorate a lot. Probably won't do a lot of videos of it since it's gonna be personal, but so up here I'll be writing what I'm reading and then notes and thoughts. That's pretty much it. So super easy whatever devotional I'm reading and Bible verses, and then I'll journal about it underneath, so. Like this photo is stunning. I love this picture of the coffee and all of these illustrations are so beautiful. Study to be quiet and do not, and to do your own business and to work with your own hands. So I love, just look how beautiful. I love the photography in this planner um, and it's just very different, very unique and super minimal, so. That's my third planner. And then my fourth new planner is a mini planner, which I'm very excited about. It's a mini horizontal. Um, and I'm going to be doing this as a daily journal. So I'll keep this by my bed and each night I'll journal. And another thing is like, I just love decorating a mini. So this is also just kind of my like creative planner that I'll do spreads in and share probably, but then I don't have to um, post them if I don't want to. Um, or I can post them even if I don't use it that week. So it's kind of my journaling planner, kind of just my creative planner. So I won't be using this part or the monthly. It's just a daily gratitude or journal. Um, and I think it's gonna be so fun to decorate a horizontal again. So yeah, that's my mini planner. I'm really excited about it. I'm super excited just to have a little mini again. I think I'm gonna put it in like a deluxe cover or something or a planning thing cover. I'm just really excited to have a different size because I always use classic and I just need some like some diverse planners in my life again. So that's my fourth planner. And then my final two planners are going to be planners I'm going to be continuing through the year. Um, so this first one is my student planner that I love and I started in August. So it's a school's uh, a school monthly planner. So it started in August, it ends in June or May. So I use the line vertical and I love it so much. It's great for my schoolwork. So I'm just going to be continuing it into the new year. Um, and it ends in May, so that's all we'll be doing. So that's my fifth planner, is my school planner. Cannot wait to continue that one. 
And then my final one is my daily passion planner. I love this planner so much and I just use this. It's undated, so I just use it whenever I need it. If it's a busy day or if I want to just get creative, I will just pull it out and write down some to do's and all that. So I'm going to be continuing this because it has so many more pages. I'll probably be using this for years, um, but it's been so fun to decorate this planner and I really love it. So that is number six. All right, you guys, there you go. That is my 2022 planner lineup. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you're using any of these planners down below in the comments and subscribe and like this video for more videos like this. Um, my, my setup video will be coming very, very soon after this one. So you will not want to miss that. So please subscribe and follow along on my planner journey on YouTube. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys have the best new year and are very excited to get into your own new planners just as much as I am. So I hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.